question. What amazing tool do you carry around with you every day, but sometimes forget how to use well? We can tap into its enormous powers in a split second. And yet, most days, we are not using our brain and the brains of others as effectively as we could. I really want you, as fast as you possibly can, to jot down the first thing that pops into your head, no matter how bizarre it is that comes to your mind, okay? The word is police. Go. Ticket. Siren. Protection. Law. Justice. Criminal. How many of you ever say things like, we're customer focused in our organization? Who's, who says that crap? <laughs> yeah? We operate with integrity. Yes, we do. Who, who says that? Yeah. And when you say it, everyone knows exactly what you mean, right? Hmm. Maybe not so much. Entertaining, sometimes provocative, always interesting and interactive. Holly G. Green is a speaker, best-selling author, and a branded expert on using your brain to win the science of thinking at work. You see, the interesting thing about us adult humans is almost every single word we use has meaning unique to each and every one of us. And the greatest mistake we make is right at the next rung of the ladder to assume, I know what you mean, assume it's obvious, come on, hello. What's really critical for us in this hyper-paced world that we're running in today is that we understand the science of thinking, how and why we do and think what we do and think every day at work, and how can we take advantage of that, the way that humans think and behave, leverage it so that we're achieving and accomplishing the things that we want to achieve and accomplish. Because you see, there's a big difference between playing to win and working hard to just not lose. Holly guides leaders and their organizations in achieving greater success by teaching you to leverage your brain and the brains of others. Through neuro prompts, quick visits to refresh and refocus your brain, she has helped hundreds of companies around the globe make new neuro connections, change perspective, challenge assumptions, and focus on a target. Neuro prompts are a way that we visit our brain quickly and begin to create some new pathways. How and why am I thinking this way? What am I holding on to? What's underlying this decision? What got me to this state or this process or this decision? And are those assumptions still true? An experienced business leader and behavioral scientist, Holly has a rare combination of extensive graduate level academic training and in the trenches experience working in and leading organizations. She is the former president of the Ken Blanchard Company and co-founder of Lumed, a biotech firm. She has worked in senior leadership roles with global giants. Her clients include companies of every shape and size. Really enjoy what it is you're doing and work to be incredible at it every day. You've got a whole lot of these, thousands of them, and they dictate what you see, how you see it, and therefore what you do. In one of her latest keynotes, Holly takes a Dr. Seuss-inspired look at creativity and the wondrous workings of our brains. But how can we prove we're truer than true when the meaning for me might be different for you? I get in a slump when the things that you thunk makes your nose run while your feet smell like skunk. Holly Green's Science of Thinking has been featured on national media. She was a regular contributor to Forbes and is a highlighted expert on numerous leadership, strategic planning, and leadership blogs. Participants are going to walk away with real takeaways, techniques that they can use back at the office the very next day. Let's just think about this. The fastest way to get to your brain, to prompt you to think about what I want you to think about, to refocus your energy where it needs to be focused, is to use a visual. You are a visually oriented creature. In fact, imagery is 60,000 times more effective than text in many, many, many instances. This is why you're gonna to continue to see menu boards, for instance, go to pictures in restaurants and in fast food places. It's not because people can't read, it's because if I can shave three to five seconds off order time through a visual image, I can make more money. 
So how do we use this at work? How can we apply this? One of the things I want you to do when you go back to your office is just look around. Really try to step back a little bit and imagine what are the visual prompts that someone sees? Very, very, very powerful and simple techniques if we stage our field of vision appropriately. Your brain is your most powerful competitive weapon, if you know how to use it properly. Leveraging the latest in neuroscience, learn how to avoid getting blinded by your own data, slow down to go fast, get and stay clear on winning, execute with excellence, engage and align your organization to win. 90%, you are screening out approximately 90% of the information available to you at any given moment. Think about that for just a second. In Holly's Pause. session, you'll here? play with your brain and walk away with practices oh, you can immediately okay. put to use to now. be even more successful. For booking information, please contact thehumanfactor.biz.